This stout might be for breakfast, but it's actually sundown. Hey, it's Channel Dad Brian Lape, and welcome back to Beer Chasers, uh, or I should say Brain Muffin Beer Review. So today we're not going to review the stout. We've talked about the breakfast stout. I have the links here or somewhere, somewhere around here, if later me remembers, will be links to whatever stouts and different things. One of my favorite stouts, still not made anymore, Imperial Russian Stout by Stone. I, I don't know why. I don't have anything to, know if it's anything to do with Ukraine. I, I think it was well before then. Anyway, so today on Beer Chasers, we're going to chase this beer with this whiskey, a sample bottle of Jameson, which has been in the freezer because that's how I like my triple distilled Irish whiskey. Now, I, I think this is a blend. I don't think this is a single malt sample. But anyway, you might say, well, why Jameson? Well, we have a stout, Irish. I'm of Scotch-Irish background, mostly Scottish. And we are in East Tennessee. We're in the mountains of East Tennessee, uh, just barely, uh, right behind me. The top of that ridge is state line, North Carolina over there. Bunch of hillbillies. Well, hillbillies are Scotch Irish and they make whiskey. Now they call it moonshine, but it's, it's yeah, I don't know. And uh, I do have to do an unboxing video. All that equipment's been sitting in the box for two months. People are starting to doubt my commitment to learning how to make whiskey. And, um, and they're probably right. Uh, my uh, Scotch Irish ancestors are probably rolling in their grave saying, hey dude, You've made really good beer, especially the British and Scott, you know, Irish made type stuff. I've not really made a German beer, interestingly enough, because the Scotch Irish is my dad's mother's side and everyone else is German. Now, my mom's side, both parents, Northern Germany, and my dad, well, my dad's father's adopted, but what my cousin's been able to figure out, Bavaria, and they were brewers. And probably made some stuff in Cincinnati during Prohibition. Yep. Anyway, which goes with the hillbilly and moonshine, right? And down below me, Copperhead Road. So, this stout, very chocolatey, double chocolate, oatmeal, coffee. So the coffee gives it some bitterness you don't normally get in a stout of this nature. The oatmeal tends to to take those tannins and level them out. It gives it a creaminess. It gives it a nice head, head retention, and it gives it a mouth feel where it makes it, it's a little bit more full. If you have, say, a, an Irish stout, a dry stout, say like Guinness, it feels very thin. There's really not much. It's just malts and some nitrogen. Really not much there. It just kind of cleanses the palate real nice. And most people think, oh, it's so thick. It's not thick. It's It has less alcohol than a Budweiser. So anyway, but not as much as like you know, pud light or something like that. But this is going to be interesting. So let's open up the Jameson. Now, I like Irish whiskey. Scotch, not so much. Bourbon, I'm learning. Learning what's good bourbon, what's not so good bourbon. But Irish whiskey, even Bushmills, I've never had any crappy Irish whiskey. And we have a plane flying over somewhere, but it'll be gone soon. So, nice malt. There's chocolate. You can get the mouthfeel. You're not going to taste oatmeal. You kind of get a, there is almost a odiness to it, but I think it's more of a, hey, you're told it's oatmeal. You're not really tasting it. But sometimes you can get that flaked barley kind of roasted oat flavor. And basically what it is is the oats mixing with the roasted barley, and it kind of tones the barley down a little bit, and it helps the oats kind of give it a, a fuller nuttier and, and nutty is 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 put that in air quotes because it's not like it's cashews or almonds or something like that but just kind of the characteristics in your brain depends on what you want to associate with it so we're going to do it two ways we're going to have the beer and try the jameson right now let's try jameson by itself mm. see in that alcohol lingering burn in that kind of Stinginess to the tongue is what I really like about Irish whiskey. It kind of bites a little bit, but it doesn't bite real late. And you get this nice warming sensation down, all the way down. So that was by itself. Now, granted, I know I had some beer in, in that residual. But now, try a little bit of beer. Hold it. Try a little bit. 
of Jameson. That is interesting. Very unexpected. Let's make sure. Mm. Yeah, the bite is back. The beer took the edge off the Jameson completely. And there's this, I don't even know how to describe the flavor. It's like the flavor of Jameson came through without the sting, without the burn. That is very interesting and, and unexpected. This is part of why I'm doing this. This is kind of all experimental, right? And I chose this beer because for, for some reason, the, you know, for a long time, craft beer around Mountain City was very difficult to get. Uh, go down John City, a little bit better. Go over to Boone, awesome. But this beer is suddenly available in several places. I'm like, okay, I got to support it that this has come in. I mean, we can talk about founders and what, okay. But this is awesome. It's not Goose Island, though. So now, let's do this for this. Lost track of what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, I know some of you are like, but why do you have a German shirt? This shirt's like 30 years old, believe it or not. Older than probably most people watching. So now let's do it the other way. A little bit of Jameson, hold, a little bit of beer. Well, see, now it starts with that and it still has that bite, man. It's lingering. It's almost the exact opposite of the other way around. When beer first, that stinginess went <laughs> this way. It's the stinginess first and then the beer after. And the stinginess stays and it stays longer. Interesting. Very interesting. Now, which do I like better? Hmm. That's hard because I have an Irish inspired variety and an Irish whiskey. And now... Most of the of my ancestors have been able to trace mostly Scotland, but I think there are a few in Ireland. I know there's a few in Ireland on my dad's side. I forget where exactly. Um, Corey Kergaran? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm horrible with Irish names. But yeah, not Galway. That's in Scotland. Um, I think oddly enough, I like the whiskey first. I don't like it's almost like this way, beer to whiskey makes it too sweet. And this way keeps the, the, the sting, the bitter, the, it's not bitter, but it's like a sting, almost like a bite of the whiskey, right? The, for me, at least, it's almost like my tongue's been cut. <laughs> it's that kind of a bite. And then the beer, which is very interesting, because normally I'm the other way around. So anyway, have you tried, well, first of all, have you tried Jameson with anything like beer related? I don't want to, you know, let me know. Uh, I don't really want, you know, uh, recipes that, hey, I mix it with orange juice. I'm not doing any of that stuff. Or do you have things that you'd like to do with founders that you'd like to see us do? Because we don't have to necessarily chase the beer with whiskey. It's just what we're doing today. Could be ice cream. It could be watermelon. I don't know. Let me know and we will see you. Good. Oh, wait, wait. Thanks for clicking like. Make sure you click like down here and, and click the bell notification wherever they put it this week. And go up here uh, to the top where your URL is and copy paste that and go to your social medias and paste it in and say, Hey, look at this old stupid moron. And what do you think of him? And let people know. Okay. So the two planes today that we're flying over have to fly over while I'm recording, which is typical. All right. Thank you. Goodbye.